Hey, this is Brian here. I've got a spreadsheet that I want to show you. I built this for a friend who's a real estate agent and um, wanted to use it to show his clients um, and show them um, different scenarios of how quickly they can pay off their mortgage or what the cost of, of borrowing is going to be over time under different scenarios. So everything in blue is an input that you can change and um, everything that's dark, the black, is an output variable that, that shouldn't be messed with. So um, You've, you start out by defining your start date, January 1st, 2015. How many months until your first payment? Or do you want to delay making payments for a month or two? And you know you could delay for 60 days and, and we'll move your first payment date and your payment schedule to two months from then. So we're just going to start with, with no delay. And you'll see after we've calculated our payment using the payment function in Excel, um, that applies throughout the spreadsheet. We calculate our interest that's going to come out of that payment, the principal that's going to come out of that payment. Also, we have this insurance variable in here that if your loan to value is less than 80%, you have to pay $100 a month in insurance. And this may differ depending on your lender and things like that, but I'm just trying to illustrate the cost of, of borrowing more than you should possibly. Um, also, you have this input variable, variable of uh, balloon payment. You, you know, if you were to um, get a $50,000 bonus, you could put that in there and see how it affects um, your costs over time. Um, so the interesting thing is is looking at this is just a basic amortization table that you know starts out with $250,000 in loan principal. As you make payments over time, you can see you scroll down through these 360 months eventually your balance gets to zero. Um, the thing that, that's important that we want to know is, well, how much did that mortgage cost me over time? And so we've got this, um, this function here that looks at, um, basically it's, it's an array function, so it looks at the year I'm interested in and then matches it with the years in your payment schedule and gives you the sum of all of the payments made in this year and the sum of all of the interest paid in that year and principal and insurance and any balloon payments and so on. So it, you can really quickly see you're paying $16,000 a year in payments, 12,000 of that is going to interest, 3,700 is going to principal. You're also paying $1,200 a year in insurance and you haven't made any balloon payments. So your total out of pocket with your payments um, and your insurance is $17,000 a year. Um, until you stop making insurance payments or you go, um, your loan to value ratio goes below 80%, um, then you stop making those insurance payments. Um, so the interesting thing is, so this is a traditional 30-year um, mortgage, so we're going to look at these scenarios. 30-year mortgage, 5% interest with zero money down. That's essentially what we've illustrated here, and I can take these payments just copy and paste the values into there. And we can see exactly how much we paid in interest over 30 years, which is a lot of money. So the total cost of that mortgage was $495,000 of my house, the cost of my house, including the mortgage. So what happens, oftentimes people ask, well, what happens if I get a 15-year mortgage instead? So we change the duration to 15 years change the interest rate to three and a half, and we're still not going to put any money down um, just to illustrate the scenario. Now we can evaluate really, really easily by copying those totals and pasting them directly below our original baseline scenario. How much money did we save? Um, now instead of paying $233,000 in interest, we're only paying $72,000 in, in interest. So there's a significant difference and you could just quickly, you know, take this value minus this value and you're actually going to spend $169,600 less on the 15-year mortgage than you spent on the 30-year mortgage. So what happens um, what happens if you do a 30-year loan, say you don't want the risk of having to pay this off in, in 15 years, maybe you lose your job or disability or something. So let's let's stick with 30 years, 
but instead of in, instead of um, making a higher payment every month, let's say that periodically over a few years we add some balloon payments. So let's say after after year one, let's just go down here at maybe we'll put in a twenty thousand dollar balloon payment. And we'll go down a little farther and put in another twenty thousand dollar balloon payment. Um, just every couple of years, maybe these are bonuses, maybe these are um, gifts from a loved one or something. Um, so basically, it sh we can look at this breakdown and see that now, copy these values up here. See, we made $80,000 in balloon payments um, over the, the course of a couple of years, and you might do this for, for 10 years or something. Um, but just really quickly to illustrate, so you made $280,000 in payments, paid $100,000 in interest, um, $170,000 in principal, you still paid a little bit of mortgage insurance, um, but you made $80,000 in balloon payments and your total cost of your home, including the mortgage, went from $495,000 to $364,000. So you saved a significant amount of money um, in interest, one hundred thirty-one thousand um, dollars, by making those additional balloon payments. So, what if you made uh, even more? Let's say, instead of paying eighty thousand, you paid a hundred thousand dollars over the first ten years of your mortgage. Um, copy those, paste them up here so you can evaluate. And you're getting pretty close to what it would have cost you to, to have a 15-year mortgage. So you can use this tool. It's really neat. You just you know change the values over here, and this will automatically update the payment schedule, and your totals will automatically add up over here. Um, so as you're, as you're looking at different scenarios, you want to see all of these zeros appear over here it means you're cutting off time off of the traditional 30-year mortgage which is ultimately the goal and to pay off that um, that debt as soon as possible so hopefully you find some value in the tool um, let me know in the comment sections if you find any any bugs or mistakes or have any comments or questions and uh, thanks a lot for watching